in today's video, I made water, lava, oh, fire, skulk, and sponge. Oh my god! Spread infinitely in Minecraft. By the way, the water can also be set on fire. Okay, cool. Watch this, watch this. Yeah, so as you see, the water just caught on fire, so fire can burn water, but water can also extinguish fire. So what if water and fire fight each other? So we got the water right here, and then let's place down the fire like right here. And let's see. Ooh, okay, okay. So as you see, the water uh, put out the fire effortlessly, pretty much. Wait, what? <laughs> yes, the fire can also destroy bedrock. So I believe the water won because the water was flowing way faster than the fire could spread. So what if I make the water flow slower? Okay, so I've made the water flow way slower than before. As you guys can see right here. God, that looks so happy. I'm gonna make them sad. Okay, so I'm gonna set the fire like right here where uh, this villager is. Had Yes! Uh, let's see how stupid it is. Uh, oh, it's actually avoiding the fire. How is it possible? Oh, the water is coming here, but it's really slow. Okay, I don't think the water is gonna make it before the fire starts to kill my computer. So, wait, where'd the idiot go? The idiot's gone, but it somehow broke the well, and now the fire is fighting with the water from the well. <laughs> okay, okay, nice. So, as you see, we didn't even need that water to reach this. Because it couldn't even stop the water well, like, bro. So the fire is attempting to kill the water, but it's not fast enough. So since we hilariously failed to stop the water, we could try a different approach by using the lava. What's so different about lava? Well, first of all, the lava is really slow, slower than this liquid. And second of all, the lava generates fire, and the fire could potentially kill the lava. Okay. Fill lava. Wait. What if I do it directly above a village house? Bam. Oh. Okay, so since the village is made out of wood, somewhat, the lava should be able to set the villages on fire. And the fire is gonna be burning the lava. Okay, this iron golem is like enjoying its peaceful day. Ah, uh, so peaceful. So the lava has started spreading. So the fire also started spreading too. So let's see what happens. So the fire is spreading really fast. Pretty much at the same rate as the lava block. So I think the fire block is starting to uh, spread into the original lava source block. And it's also sort of going through the lava block itself too. So I thought it was doing something a minute ago. But apparently... It's not doing anything. So what could we try next? Well, there's two options remaining, but let's try the skull bug first. Now, I'm gonna show you guys how this skull thing works. Kill at E, zombie, bam. And, oh my god. <laughs> this thing should also be able to uh, turn water into skull. Is it? There we go, yeah it does. Wait, the water is slow, I gotta make the water fast again, oh. Alright, so let's place down the water block. Set block, water. And then let's see if the skull block can stop the water. So let's do bam, 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 bam. Let's get it. Let's <laughs> see what happens. Okay, so it's sort of stopping. Sort of, kind of, maybe. Ah, uh, not really. It is, it is. Yeah. It is. Wait, what? How are you going up in the sky? No, don't go in the sky, you dingus. No. Go in the water, you idiot. <laughs> oh no. Where did this come from? So. Yeah, the skull block is working way better than the fire block, but still, the water is way too strong. Let's see what it looks like from the inside. Whoa, this is insane. <laughs> wow. All right, so this time, we're gonna do a little bit of a controlled experiment because the last one went out of control. Okay, skulk, this, 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 this. Then, we're gonna hurry up and do water. Now! Okay, let's get it. <laughs> okay, this is gonna be really hard for the water. Almost impossible. But it's still doing it. Wait, 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 wait. Wait, no, the water is still going strong. And that's because the water makes new layers like pretty much like every second and the skull cannot keep up. So since that didn't work, 
Let's try this. Bam and bam. So, I'm gonna pour water like right here and try to see if this circle will work. So let's do a set block water. And I think this might be a little bit too big for it. <laughs> but I don't know, let's see. Kill slime. Are we ready for this? In three, two, one, bam. That was really satisfying. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so yeah, it's currently going towards the water and let's see if this will actually stop the water from flowing and from this side It looks like it is kind of stopping Actually, it is it is it It kind of is <laughs> Let's do it again once more kill the slime and um, this will amplify the effect of the skulk hopefully or Kill my computer. So we got more slimes dead and uh, let's do it once more because there's so many slimes. What? What is this shape, bro? It's so cool, bro. It's really trying. It's trying really hard to stop the water, but it is still not enough. But it is doing a really good job of slowing down the water because, as you see, if the water was not slowed down by the skull, then it should be like over there. But instead, it's like right here. Let's see what the inside looks like. So there's no blocks here, obviously. But, oh wow, this skull thing is forming a wall around the water. And it's trying so hard to keep the water <laughs> from flowing. So are we gonna give up? No. Cause I'm about to make the water flow very slow. <laughs> and yes, this will make it easier for the skunk. Okay, let's see if it worked. And it did work. So the water is flowing really slowly. And some of you guys might be like, Oh my god, it's not realistic because the water is so slow. Well, guess what, bro? The water flowing infinitely is already unrealistic. Bam! Oh my god, this is so satisfying. Let's see. It's working. Okay, this one might actually work. Yo, it's working. It's sort of working. I think it's stopping. Yes! It's still too powerful. The water's too powerful. We're gonna kill more mobs. So let's do zombies because zombies burn in daylight. Fast click, fast click, fast click. Okay, more! I need more! My PC is going to commit on a live today. I'm gonna try everything that I can do to stop the water. Okay, uh, this thing might be working. Maybe. So, the results are way better than before because the water looks like it's getting really restricted now. The other side? Uh, <laughs> disaster. <laughs> but this side, pretty decent because I spawned a lot of zombies, so like, it's sort of working. Oh no. The water still coming out. Let's make this thing a little bit more worse. I commit arson. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> what is this? This is an accurate representation of what it looks like in my brain pretty much. So I wanna leave this running for like a couple hours and let's see what happens. Yeah, so uh, my PC froze. <laughs> I think we kept failing because the water size was too big. So this time, I'll try to stop the water before it gets too big. Touchdown, bam. Let's get it. Okay, this should work. This should... Why? Shvook self. So this should work. Hopefully, kill, type this player, and... Let's see. Come on. I know you can do it. Oh my gosh. I think it's happening. Yeah. yeah. Sort of? Kind of? I mean, we kind of did it. We we kind of did it. Yeah, we, we did it. We sort of did it. Except for that area. Let's do it once more. And. Again. And. Again. And again. <gasps> yes! The Skulk has won. But am I satisfied with the result? Of course not. The water was way too small. So remember sponges spreading infinitely? Uh, yes. As you see, the sponges can spread infinitely. It can multiply. So we're gonna use this to beat the infinite flowing water. No, not the small one. The gigantic one. But currently, the game tick is at zero speed. Which means the sponges will not spread. Bam! Water. Let's do like 6 9 first. Because I think that's a decent number. So this should probably be able to stop the infinite flow of water. Oh my gosh, this is spreading so fast, bro. Oh, okay, yep, it's working, it's working. Is it? Wait, why is this generating stone? What the heck? 
But oh my gosh. So the sponge is kind of contained in water. But it's not enough. It's not spreading fast enough. Which means I'm gonna torture my computer even more. Random take speed to like 200. But the water is gonna be way higher than before. Making it even more difficult. <laughs> okay. Oh, oh. oh my gosh. Growth speed of the sponge is like extreme. Oh. Okay, there's still stone generating for some reason. I don't know why. I'm telling you, this will do it. This will do it. Yeah, the sponge has tried really hard. But guess what? <laughs> what the heck? So apparently, this side was not taking at all. Which means, the water overflowed. But I believe the sponges were the most successful because they can do this if they were not tortured by the abundant amount of water. So lastly, let's do lava versus fire versus skulk versus sponge versus water. Because I want to make a part 3 of this video. And in that video, I want to do a full thing. So comment down your ideas down below in the comment section. And sponge grow! Why are you not growing? Oh my god, never mind, it's growing so fast. Oh my god! Okay, dude, what the heck happened to this thing? <laughs> oh my gosh. It's engulfing it, but the sponge will only destroy the fire if the fire block is air. So like, I wonder what happens if the fire block is encased inside of the sponge block. So let's do a random take zero, and the fire should be able to come out through the sponge and destroy the whole entire sponge. Where are you, fire? Oh, it's still burning. It's going strong. Let's see from the outside. Ah, oh, it's happening. <laughs> so the sponge can never win the fire because how it's coated. But the fire can never win the water, and the water can never win the sponge. Interesting. <laughs> so yeah, lastly, you will never guess what this Minecraft screen is. So if you know more about that, then go check out this video on. But on that, thank you for watching, and see you guys in the next video.